back to another episode of Marvel Card Collecting and Investing with Ginger Man Cards. Uh, it's Sunday the 9th of May, feeling good. We're almost at 200 subscribers, we're actually at 199 as I talk, which is really frustrating. Uh, but yeah, I really, really appreciate everyone who's listening. It still blows my mind that, you know, that may seem like a small amount to some, but to me that's that's a big number. Uh, and I'm purely talking about bits of cardboard and <laughs> it still baffles me so yeah thank you very much for all of you listening on the podcast as well which is uh which is doing really well 150 downloads as of today and that's not all the streaming services so yeah really really appreciate you guys um so yeah today's been a good day uh typical british weather I've been raining there's a surprise um but it's feeling warmer which is good so we're getting somewhere getting towards summer maybe um but today and uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you might have already seen I uh, bought some Pokemon cards for my son. So he's four, and uh, some of his friends at his school have been talking about Pokemon cards. They've already got some, and he one of his friends gave him one. So he was been uh, banging on about that. So I <laughs> caved in and got some cards, and ah, it was great fun. So we, I opened. Um, I should just say, cost me. Let me ugh, this is crazy. Thirteen pounds for three packs of Pokemon cards, 2020 Pokemon cards, don't know what they were, Vi- Voltage, something like that, something V, um, I need to learn all about that lingo again, um, but yeah, $13, I remember when it was like £1 for two packs, honestly, back in my day, I sound like an old man, but <laughs> I'm not, um, but yeah, really good fun, so we opened that, he tried to touch all the cards, I was like, no, don't do that, it might be valuable, <laughs> Um, so yeah, I did all the opening bit and you can see that on Instagram if you're interested, but, um, at the end I was like, what am I doing? Like these cars are not worth anything. And, uh, yeah, he loves pulling with them and he's going to take a couple to, uh, show his friend tomorrow. So yeah, really, really nice to do something like that with my, uh, my little boy. I'm going to get some packs of Marvel cars as well, obviously, because his dad's into Marvel. Um, <laughs> he knows all the characters, so Thor's his favorite character and, um, yeah, he knows most of them, so we're going to get some Marvel packs from somewhere, probably E-Pack. Um, yeah, but I need to try and figure out how to use that, because I'm still new. But yeah, really good fun, bit of nostalgia for me. Still pissed off that my mum threw my uh, first edition Pokemon cards. I literally went to their garage today as well, my parents, and uh, <laughs> I was uh, hunting through all the garage drawers, thinking, where are these cards? I swear I had them. Uh, this was like 12, 13 years ago when they moved, so uh, <laughs> didn't find any, but here you go. Anyway, let's get into the video. Sorry, I've waffled on about my life. So, um, as always, market update is Sunday. I'm going to be looking at mainly graded cards and uh, obviously some raw cards included as well. And I'm also going to be looking at a couple of cards that are on the market uh, on eBay, which is very interesting. You'll be Kind of not surprised, but it's um, yeah, just interesting. I I just find all of this interesting. I really do. So um, let's have a look through. So first card, which I think is an absolute bargain, 1994 Marvel Universe War Machine 3D Hologram PSA 8, 32 dollars. That is a bargain. Hard to grade those holograms. Really hard to grade. So yeah, good price. Um, some nice overpowered cards going. I'm glad they're going. That's good. Raw cards, eleven dollars. Not a lot, obviously. These are interesting. These we've uh, I had a chat with Norin. If you don't follow him on Instagram, you should because um, there's a lot of content on there and chat to some uh, OG guys. And Norin at Sketch Card Hive uh, talked about flare cards in the recent chat we had. And um, yeah, these Power Blast ones are really, really nice. Really popular as well. By by the looks, of it. PSA nine sold for ninety nine dollars. Uh, Spider-Man. Um, what else do we have? Venom. Card number 73. 1990 Marvel Universe sold for $493. Again, we've talked about this before. It's come down a lot. Iron Man, PSA 9, same same set. 112 Doctor Doom, 115 Good prices. Um, I like these cards. These are cool. Again, same set. 1990 Marvel Universe. Fantastic Four versus Doctor Doom. PSA 10, so they're the Versus card, uh, $120 for that, that's nice. <laughs> this is very interesting, so same set again, 
card number 34, so the nice Doctor Strange card, proper one at the front of the... If I'm, I'm looking at it like a binder near the front, uh, and they've put in the title, Pop 4, PSA 10, new MC move, MCU movie coming rare. And I talk about this often, and I always will talk about it. Um, people are going to be like, oh yeah, that's a good shout. There's a new movie coming out. So I'm looking at Loki cards at the moment, I'll be honest. Uh, I don't know where to go, which direction to go, but it's an interesting play. Uh, in terms of like the movies and do the prices increase? I believe they do, in my opinion. Yes, I do. Makes it more relevant. You think about marketing. Marvel's huge brand, IP, all of that jazz. And, uh, I'm just explaining stuff I've already talked about, but for me, that's um, a no-brainer. So yeah, really nice Doctor Strange card there. Good to see. PSA 10, Captain America, $680. They had it at $899, so that's come down massively as well. This is a wicked card, and I wish I bought it myself, I'll be honest. Um, it's a 1994 Flair. So Flair, obviously, is popping at the moment. I can see more and more coming back into the market uh, as they've been graded, obviously. Pop 7, PSA 10, $109 for Captain America card, and it looks awesome. Just looks awesome. <laughs> There's nothing else to say. Uh, Stan Lee. Okay, so we talked about in the previous videos, um, the prices have come down massively. So this has come down massively again. So it was at 900, I think, last week. Um, and this is just based off of this one listing. So don't quote me. But Stan Lee, PSA 10, 1990 Marvel Universe has gone to sold at 699, and that's in an auction. So that's come down again. So really need to watch that. There's a lot more, so we'll, I will go into it in a minute, but there's a lot more supply coming into the market, which uh, everyone who's invested in these cards need to be careful with. And we talked about that since day one, I think. Um, so Wolverine, so PSA 10 again. Very interesting. Very interesting. $666. So that has come down. That's almost at Stan Lee level, which people were saying was the card to go for, which obviously is not. <laughs> um, Cyclops. I love Cyclops. I just watched the X-Men from 2000, the movie. Oh, he's epic, isn't he, Cyclops? I'd love to have a um, power like that. Uh, Venom, $481. Um, $481, sorry, same set. Cats in America again, 696. So again, they're all just under 700 mark for the big, well-known characters, uh, PSA 10s in that set. So still really good prices. I mean, you can't argue with that, but that will drop again. As I said, supply. Yes, the demand is there. Obviously, all of these, these are all the recent sales, 100 list in recent sales, and 90% of them are 1990 Marvel Universe cards. So there is obviously demand for them, but... There's a lot of flood in the market, and we're not even, you know, not even in the in the middle of it, in my opinion. So just interesting to watch this set. I'm just hoping to God I get my cards again. I sent. I'm transparent as always, as I always am. Um, I sent off eight cards three months ago. Express, I think it was. So it should be coming back soon. I hope by Express, it's like it was meant to be a two months turnaround. But obviously PSA shutting and I don't know, it should be clearing the backlog, but who knows. But yeah, I'm hoping for those cars to come back soon, I'll be honest. Because I really, really would like to sell some. Um, obviously we'll keep some that my uh myself and my little boy will keep. Uh but I want to keep I want to sell some to obviously build the bankroll and then look at look at next places to um put it into Marvel cards. That's just me being completely transparent. So um, some nice 93 Marvel Universe cards going through. 75 for a num number. <laughs> I can't even say it. Numerita, PSA 10. These are cool looking cards. I've seen a lot of these recently. Uh, really underrated set, which I wish I got more of. Uh, Jim Lee's 1992 Impel X Men Series 1 Roma, PSA 10 for $70. Bargain. Again, Roma. Not very well known, but PSA 10, you can't argue with that. These nice flare ones. They're really nice. 95 flare, Marvel Annual, Puma, PSA 10, $75. Bargain. 
These are cool as well. There's two. I almost bought these. I thought they looked really cool, just purely on the look of them, nothing else. <laughs> so I didn't do any research. They're 2020 Panini Marvel 80th, um, 80th Punisher and Doctor Doom card C36. So I believe they are out of 80. Let's just double check. I like this Doctor Doom one massively. Let's have a look. On the back it says, is it out of 50? Yes, I think it's 50 cards. Marvel 80 years, anniversary. Cool looking cards. But the, the actual artwork on that is sick, is what I would call it. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, really cool cards. That's, that one's Doctor Zoom sold for nineteen dollars fifty, uh, uh, in raw condition, and the Punisher seventeen fifty. So yeah, really nice. So this is a big one that's uh, happened recently, and probably the biggest sale in the last, I want to say, thirty days, twenty days, in terms of mon monetary, in terms of dollar cost. <laughs> um, Two thousand thirteen Marvel Fleer Retro Apocalypse, PMG. Blue uh, pop three PSA nine sold for three thousand four hundred dollars. Yeah, it was on for nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine. So they took a took a very low ball offer, but really, really, really cool card. Love it. So it's um, serial number thirty four out of fifty. So again, these blue ones are out of fifty. Really, really, really nice card. So yeah, that's one of the biggest sales in the well recently. Um, 2007 Mas Marvel masterpieces. Seen a lot of these pop up as well recently. Dagger Gold Border PSA 10, 55 dollars. Pop two, nice. 92 Marvel Universe, I believe. Yeah. Weapon Alpha from then till now PSA 10, pop one. Wow. <laughs> Someone put wow on the listing. Love it. Uh, but nice card, nevertheless. Electra, 1990 Marvel Universe, PSA 10, $150. Uh, new Warriors. Wow. I love these New Warriors cards. I think they look cool. All the characters in them are brilliant. Uh, Venom. So, this is an interesting thing. And I need to do some... I'll probably do a separate video on this. Is the... The value of a PSA 10 to a PSA 9 of a lot of these cards. So uh, this Venom card is a 1991 Marvel Universe Venom card, PSA 9. Sold for $140. But the PSA 10, I think there was one recently sold, can't remember when, but it sold for a lot, lot more than that. So I want to do a separate video on the prices between them, especially on the 1990 Marvel Universe set, uh, because there's a huge disparity between the two which I find very interesting. For me, potential opportunity in a PSA 9. But again, I've said about um, the amount of cards flooding the market, so risky. Really nice, 91 Impel Marvel Universe Hologram H2 Hulk PSA 9. That is nice. Cheap as well, $200. Really nice card. Looks so cool in the light, honestly. Uh, load more. Marvel Universe cards, all the the Versus ones, I think, X-Men as well, $180, $190. So literally, the next one, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. The next 13 cards are all 1990 Marvel Universe cards and all well over $100 for PSA 10s. And, uh, yeah. Good. 92 Marvel Masterpieces Iron Man PSA 10 Pop 14 This is a nice sale $499 Beautiful card Shame mine isn't in that condition <laughs> I'm keeping mine in my binder Yeah Hmm interesting 90 uh, Marvel Again Marvel Universe 1990 Storm Card number 24 They said Rookie first card PSA 10 Grail It's not a grail But could well be a first appearance. Don't know. I need to do some research in that. But two hundred eighty-five dollars. So either way, a nice PSA ten card of Storm, which is a wicked character, and I find her really hot in the 
the one I just watched, the X Men two thousand. <laughs> Maybe that's just me. I'm a weirdo, but I thought she, <laughs> I thought she was smoking. Whoever played it. Um. Anyway, moving on. Ninety one Marvel Universe Ghost Rider PSA ten. Hundred fifty seven dollars. Love it. Cool card. Uh, 95 Marvel Metal Carnage, Silver Flasher, PSA 9. I think this is a bargain, pop three sixty-three dollars People love metal cards. Again, more 91 Marvel Universe cards. Punisher, PSA 10, and Iron Man, PSA 10. Punisher, $234, and Iron Man, $460. So that's purely character. So the market's saying here, this character, because it's 45 bids on Iron Man, 23 bids on Punisher. The market or the collectors or investors are saying Iron Man is a more pe- popular character than Punisher, which is absolutely correct. You know, think about movies and appearances. Yeah, it's spot on, but that's what the market's saying. Um, okay, let's head over to what is going on eBay. So eBay.com and just wanted to show you some cards that have just been listed recently some 19 flair nice but yeah i just wanted to show you the amount of 90 90 marvel universe cards that are going into the market so oh this is a nice card this is tempting <laughs> spider woman 96 marvel masterpieces what a set that is psa 10 currently at 51 dollars three bids only three bids and it's $51, $51 and there's four days, eight hours left. That's going to be well over, I'm going to say, 300 I'll watch that one closely, but interesting. So again, whoa, these are cheap. PSA 8, that's why. So yeah, a load of PSA 8 cards of the 90 Universe, Marvel Universe card. Uh, they won't go for that much. That's a nice card as well. Metal, Magneto, love Magneto. I had a chat with Norin about this is about character popularity. Magneto's personally one of my absolute favourite um, supervillains by a country mile. Just awesome. Um, this is a nice jackal. Boris Vallejo, ninety six masterpieces. This has just been listed. I think they've didn't sell it because I was watching this card. Actually, I'll be completely honest. I was watching it just to see what happened with it. I don't think they sold it for what they wanted to, so they've relisted it as another bid. Uh, disgusting slab there, which I don't even want to look at. <laughs> More disgusting slabs there. They even, the funny thing is, they haven't even put what the slab is in the list and the title. <laughs> oh, that's nice. 94 Marvel Universe Carnage PSA 10. $55. Three minutes left. <sighs> Honestly, I could buy every single one of these and be happy. <laughs> but that's not sound collecting and investing. Um, but yeah, loads more 90 Universe. Really nice hollows, PSA 8. You can get a, If you can get a hollow that's above PSA 8 in these uh, early 90s cards, I think, I think that's a really good buy. I really do. Nice flare cards. Really, really cool. I need to look into those. But I'm just, if you're watching on YouTube, I'm just showing you how many of these new um, 90 Marvel Universe cards are on, coming into play. And the PSA 9, Fantastic Four vs. Doctor Doom, PSA 9, they're selling for $49. <laughs> Think about that for a second, because PSA are shut. Um, and I've heard the lowest, when they reopened there, I've heard and not confirmed yet, I've said this in the last one, um, their lowest value sub will be $50. So um, <laughs> you're either buying these up because that's just really cheap and no one will get them graded in the future or you're just waiting and seeing. And that's what I'm doing, to be completely honest. But just interesting, really interesting. More cards. Nice Silver Surfer one. PSA 8, PSA 9, Metal, Marvel, 1995, Gold Blaster. That's a nice card. 
six hours left, $13. Hmm, interesting. I'm going to watch that. <laughs> Just see what happens. Um, 95 Mile from Mars Peter's Punisher. Uh, David DeVries. I probably say it wrong every time. Gold Auto. That's nice. Again, I don't personally. I, I really like this card. I like the signature. Baffet looks cool. Personally, do you know what really annoys me with these cards? It says trading card on it. Really annoys me seeing that in the in the PSA slab. It puts me off it. I don't know why. I think I'm weird, but yeah, it just does something for me. I just don't like it. Um, and yeah, more. And you just say keep. Literally, I could go through all these pages, and again, eighty to ninety percent of them will be nineteen ninety Marvel Universe, uh, Marvel Universe Series One cards that have been graded, and people are whacking them on the market. But as you've seen through the recent sales just then. Um, people are still buying it, whether it's a 9 or a 10. Obviously, the 10s are fetching a far higher price than the 9, and I'll do another video on that. But, yeah, that was my um, take on today. hope you found that interesting in some form. Um, I've had a really busy week this week, so I've not had much time to do uh, as much content as I like, so hopefully this week will be way better. I've planned in a bit of time. And, uh, yeah, keep a lookout for more videos and uh, more episodes to come. Thank you for listening, guys. I really appreciate it. And uh, make sure you like, subscribe, review, all the good stuff. Really appreciate that. Um, and before I go, I've got a uh, little competition going where you can win two 1990 Marvel Universe cards, funny enough, uh, a Black Cat and a Phoenix Raw. Really good shape. If you want to win that card, head to my uh, most recent video, uh, and you just need to put your favourite Marvel 90 set in the comments. And then follow me at Insta, Instagram, uh, Gingerman underscore cards. Uh, and that's how you enter the competition. And I'll pick a random winner on the 11th of May. And uh, yeah, bish bash bosh. Real good nosh. Is that the saying? I don't even know. Uh, enjoy your Sunday, guys. Take care.